Our next presentation is from Felix. They are a lighting manufacturer, and Brent Sabenholler is going to uh, tell us about their new lights with assistance from uh, Jim Davis. Thank you, Brent. Thanks so much, Jim. Um, we are just happy to be a part of this. It's always such a great event each year, and, and uh, we love to see the way the technology is being pushed forward. Um, it's so exciting for us because we've personally, Felix and our parent company has invested um, upwards of $30 million into the LED technology business. We're not some small company. We're not some uh, guys putting stuff together in our back shop. Um, we are uh, a technology company first and foremost, and uh, uh, moving into a full-on lighting um, manufacturer secondly. Uh, we start off as a fiber optics company during the dot-com boom, really uh, growing our business, dealing with optics, um, and which is kind of unique, moving into lighting. We know how to control lighting in a, a, such a finite way into the nano level uh, for fiber optics communications. And so when we started moving into LED technology, we realized um, control and um, color were going to be such an important uh, part of the industry, not just specifically our industry, but the LED industry, the light industry as a whole. And um, we now have five lighting brands in, in varying uh, areas of interest. Uh, Felix is just one of them. And Felix came about with the concept of having that color control from early on. And our technology is uh, what we call our dense matrix LED. I'm going to put it right here so you guys maybe can zoom in on that. I'll try to hold it steady. But what we've done and spent a lot of time was putting multiple diodes together in the tightest cluster possible. And over the course of uh, 10, 15 years of R&D, we've only gotten it closer, only gotten it more powerful. Um, but then we put a single optic over it. So we make hard lights. We don't make soft lights. We uh, play friendly with all the great soft lights in the industry right now, which is great. Um, and, but our focus is making the best color, tunable light sources um, that are hard lights. And what we do is not just take a tungsten and not just take a daylight. We actually mix multiple chips together. Um, and then our technology is the brains behind it is we can control different portions of this chip and calibrate it to a very finite level. So we'll go at um, every varying degree of color temperature and every, every intensity level, and we'll calibrate it to the specifications that we choose. This gives us uh, such a control. So we are the manufacturer of our own LED source, which is very unique. Um, and it gives us that ultimate control. And that's what we've really spent a lot of time developing. And it's great to see, you know, the SSI standard coming out. And we're excited to be um, seeing what our results are on that. We were the first LED manufacturer to get a 99 TLCI. So we, we love the, the challenge of that. And we love trying to make our product better. Um, we don't boast that we've been in the industry for 100 years. We, we are amazed of the companies that have been around that long, and we want to be a part of that. Um, we want to be a part of pushing and driving that technology forward. And so us to push color as far and as, as possible so that you guys can get the results that you want is what's important to us. So with that chip, um, we have uh, been able to drive it uh, at such a different um, level than most people. And it has to do with the chip and how it's bonded um, to the metalized circuitry behind it, uh, giving us a, a nice way to disperse the heat and control heat management. Um, the other thing that we're able to do is uh, design our own Fresnels. So we've gone and specifically designing, because we are an optics company, we go and we design our uni unique Fresnels. The nice thing is LEDs don't put out uh, a lot of UV unless you choose it to. So we can make our own polycarbonate Fresnels and not worry about any uh, degradation within that. Um, so this is a, a plastic feeling, lightweight. You're not going to break it. It's not going to overheat and blow up. Um, but it's specifically made for us. And the nice part about this was we refer started off using glass Fresnels, which was great, and we had great results from it. But we were able to get almost, uh, it was about 7 to almost 10% more light 
uh, transmission through this Fresnel than, than a previous glass Fresnel. So we were able to increase the output and giving you more, more light to play with while maintaining a good quality Fresnel. Um, the other thing that we've done, even with this product, this is our, our newest fixture. It's called the Matrix Light. Um, this light, we've been able to custom design a Fresnel for the four sources um, that are inside that to be able to tighten a beam angle to 30 degrees versus having the widespread of a softer source. This is what we consider our punch light, our light that you use to bounce through silks. It's not, a, it's not inherently a soft source, even though it is a multi-source. It still has um, a lot of throw and a lot of punch to it. It's, it's designed for um, using in silks or bouncing off walls or ceilings or, or, or bouncing off of a lot of bounce material. Um, but with that, we've given you color temperature of 2800 to 6500 Kelvin, quarter magenta, quarter green hue control, um, and, and that all is either through DMX or Wi-Fi uh, giving you access to that. You can get, a, this is a 300 watt draw source, you can get the sa a sim same single source, 300 watt source, uh, color Q1000, um, giving you a very similar feeling to it, but just out of a single source, not necessarily a punch light. If you need a clean single Fresnel with a lot more spot and flood to it, uh, the, the Q1000 is that, that type of product. And then what we've really been known for is our small portable fixtures um, in the travel kits. The P360 line is, is been a really popular product and we encourage you to come stop by the booth or look online at www.felix.com and really um, see the full product line. But those compact sources um, all the way up to our top line are all battery operatable. There's 48 volt batteries available for the higher end fixtures and all your standard broadcast batteries, V-Lock and Gold Lock will work on the uh, smaller P-Series lines. Um, that's about it. I thank you guys for coming and uh, being involved.